Dragon Feather, and this is part four of my eight part chalk, eight part, seven part chakra series. That is like from my brain training from doing the Sabbat series right there. Um, all right, so the one we're working on today is the heart chakra, which is the fourth one, obviously. This is the fourth video. And the color associated with it is green. And other associations are unconditional love, compassion, healing, learning to live in balance, bridge from physical to spiritual. All right, so in this one, you are beginning to learn that you're going to be starting to let go of your material needs and moving into the bigger picture, the more spiritual aspect of the gift of being a human. That's what I like to call it. Um, you're going to be able to love unconditionally. Um, even those who have hurt you in the past, even like your father if he did mean things to you, even your mother if she was like a drunk or whatever she did or harmed you or robbed you of anything from your childhood. You're going to learn how to love everyone and anyone, including yourself. And you're going to have compassion for things. You're going to want to help people in need. You're going to want to heal people and learning to live in balance, which means you're going to learn when you should eat and when you should exercise. I think I should have said when you relax and when you exercise. You're going to learn when you should get sleep so you can get a good night of sleep so you will not be tired the next day, unlike myself who stays up till 5.30 a.m. <laughs> You're going to learn how to just, you know, keep that good versus evil. You're not going to be harsh but stern. You're not going to be super crazy, I love you, but you're going to love with reason. Um, body areas associated with this is heart, upper back, breasts, general function of the lungs, blood and air circulation, the secondary chakra close to the heart chakra called the thalamus, which controls lymphatic systems. Um, yeah. So, with your body areas. Like I said, we're building a human. We just put in the digestive system, and now we're building up here, and your lungs, and obviously some other things, um, and your upper back, which is like... You need your upper back to carry the weight of the world, I guess, on your shoulders. A lot of people say that they do, but blah, 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 blah. Um, the emotional aspect of this is emotional clearing and insight, clarity, stability, healing for both body and body and mind as one complete package, brings balance, focus, green gold works on, nerv on nervous tics and stammering. So you are going to learn not to like get nervous right before you perform in front of an audience, right before you speak in front of people. You're not going to get nervous when you're meeting your boyfriend or girlfriend's parents. Um, you're not going to get nervous when you get married. Although you'll have butterflies, but isn't that being nervous? Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll be excited. The butterflies of being excited, like, oh my gosh, I married the love of my life. Um, don't marry unless you love the person. Bad. Don't do that. Um, anyway. The lesson you're going to learn from this chakra is, oh, I lost my place. The lesson you're going to learn from this chakra is how to love yourself unconditionally, like we learned in the associations, and fully with a beautiful, pure love. And you're just going to accept every part of your aspect, aspect, every part of your body, your personality, your, who you are, basically. Um... Like, there's things I'm uncomfortable with on my body. One of them being, I have a huge birthmark in the back of my head. It's a bald spot because I hit my mom's cervix when I was coming out of her, which is kind of awkward if you really think about it. Um, and I'm Irish, so I have tons of freckles, and I don't like them. Um, I wish I had, you know, flawless skin, and I don't have an hourglass-shaped body. And that sometimes is really hard for me because I think it's very attractive to have a very attractive to have an hourglass shaped body. Um, and so you'll learn how to love every part of you, also accepting who you are. Um, and you'll be able to heal um, parts of your life that have been really hurt. Alright, so the meditation you're going to do to cleanse and balance this chakra is you're going to, like I said the past three videos, I'm going to say this in all of them, by the way. Um, you're going to imagine this slowly rotating, like, 
crappy green. Like when it comes out of your butt, you're like, and what did I eat? What the, basically. Um, and it's just dripping in this like really thick viscosity level of just bleh. And it smells just like sulfur. If you don't know what sulfur smells like, have yourself some raw eggs. I mean, rotten eggs. And it smells horrible and it's just all around just this gross thing and it's not balanced and that's what we're gonna do. And you're gonna imagine it rotating faster and faster and as it's rotating faster and faster it separates itself from this green foul smelling mush and it just drops to the ground and bursts into white light and goes and fades away. And as it's rotating faster and faster and all this stuff is going off of it, it's becoming a brighter and brighter, more beautiful forest lime green. And once you get there, it's rotating a little bit faster than the solar plexus chakra. Sorry, I'm still learning these. It's getting a little bit faster. And once you're there at this beautiful, vibrant, very attractive green, random fact, green is the easiest color for humans to see. And it's rotating. And once you get there, you're going to imagine it rotating faster and faster and getting even lighter all the way like through turquoise and like sea green or sea foam green and when you get to the top it's gonna s when you start spinning so fast it's gonna stop and it's just gonna be this breathtaking just overwhelming oppressing beautiful white light and it's just going to overwhelm you and you're gonna hold that image for as long as you can and when you're satisfied you're gonna open your eyes and you're gonna breathe a little bit and then you're going to say, so mode it be, or it is done. And then you're going to ground yourself. And if you're in the bath, you're going to dry off and then ground yourself. And there you go. You have accomplished the balancing and cleansing act of the heart chakra. All right. Well, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave them below and let me know. And until next time, blessed be and bye.